Ready or not, we know that what we read, we saw. That's Spread Love by Uptown XO of Mellow Music from Colored Gray. This is Juice Radio's Fresh Juice, your urban music refreshment. My name is D Money. You can follow me on Twitter at D Money Juice. My guest tonight is Talib Kweli. He's about to drop a new album, Prisoner of Conscious. And he's back in Seattle selling out the Crocodile back to back years with Rain City Production. With many tour skip um, stops that basically skip the Northwest, you are always loyal to the Northwest, always coming back here. What is it about Seattle? Um, Northwest is loyal to me. Um, you know, actually my biggest market fan-wise is like the Bay Area, yeah. but then that extend out to like the Northwest, to Seattle, to Portland, to Vancouver. Um, you know, I just, you know, something about this region, they, 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 they rock with me, so I, you know, I rock with them. Yeah, they definitely love to live. Um, one trip that you basically made out here actually um, was when I was in college actually, uh, Central Washington University, it was a tour for um, it was a tour for Jeff Chang's Can't Stop, Won't Stop, that book. Mm -hmm. I think you uh, had a couple quotes on there. I attended the session right there. You spoke with him. Um, did you read the book? What did you learn from that? Um, I did read that book. Jeff Chang is a, is a good friend of mine. Um, I don't know necessarily. What I learned from that is that Jeff Chang is, a, is an ill hip hop historian. Yeah. Um, it was a book that cobbled together a lot of experiences that I had been through. Right. So it was, it was personal to me. Yeah, it was a very educational session. I definitely enjoyed it. Mm -hmm, yeah, Jeff Chang is dope. Um, we played a track a couple be weeks back by Mac Main and Lil Wayne, and it's called Celebrate. What stood out to me is you're on it. Mm -hmm. What um, what made you uh, make the work with these guys? Um, they asked me. Oh, yeah? It was funny, I was just checking my Twitter. A, a fan just hit me and said, I never thought Tyler Kweli would sell out and do a song with Lil Wayne, um, which I think is, um, is funny because at that point, people are no longer interested in unity. We're no longer interested in collaboration because it's not like we did a song about going to strip clubs. <laughs> right. Um, you know, even though I, I you know, strip club, I like strip club, you know what I'm saying? But but that's not what we made a song about. We made, <laughs> you know, we made a song about celebrate and yeah. about, you know, living life. It's something that I feel like is positive and people still find something negative in that. Um, right. I'm down for um bringing things together and, and seeing the similarities rather than the differences. Right, exactly. I'm um, definitely, I see this this theme with a lot of artists that basically once you get back into the music industry and you looked at it, perspective is everything. That's true. Um, I will say that because I do this for a living, mm -hmm. my perspective is different. Mm -hmm. On a couple of levels, one, I get to travel and see beautiful examples of hip hop. Yes. So I'm not as keen to be like, oh, hip hop is dead, or be mad about what's on the radio or TV because right. I see beautiful examples of hip hop. I don't, I don't get my hip hop just from mainstream. Yes. Um, so the hip hop I I listen to is more diverse. <coughs> but on the other hand, I also get to know these artists as people, right. and I know that even if I don't like an artist's music or I appreciate the way that they're delivering, that they're still an artist trying to create and they're my peer. So right. I have more respect for them as a, as a peer than I, I maybe would if I was just a consumer of their music. Right, definitely. And another thing, um, the uh, hottest MCs list, I know you were a guest on um, Sway's show or whatever, he asked you about it. He said you were cool with it, except if it's a lyricist list and you're not on it, there's a problem, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely, um, would you like to be seen as hot? Um, hey man, I've been hot, I've been cold, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's it's about when whether you can rock, whether you're hot or not, um, right. you know, hot uh, is something that's that's temporary, I'd rather something that's more consistent in the long term, yeah. you know, but you know, being hot is dope, when you hot, get your money, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> while you hot. Yeah, definitely. Now, speaking of a hot record, we're about to play that. I'm going to talk with you in a little bit. We're going to play the latest single from it, Upper Echelon, featuring the very talented Harry Fraud on the production. Be with you in just a second on Juice Radio's Fresh Juice. Rocking on Juice Radio's Fresh Juice online at gojuiceradio.com and on the TuneIn app. That was Yaslin Bay, formerly known as Most Def and Yassine. Many Fresh. Yasin. Yasin Bay. He put out a record with Many Fresh. Was it with Many Fresh. It's called Black Jesus that you oh, just I, heard I right heard there. That. I have heard that. He, we're I, still I don't with, have that. I need that. We're still with the Ebony Man he known as Shalib Kweli right here. <laughs> You've worked with most, obviously, as Black Star. What was your reaction when he changed his name like that all of a sudden? Um, Most has actually been Yasin Bey for a number of years. Okay. Um, he just decided to make it his public name. I think he just, you know, he looks at 
most deaf as being something that's a brand. Mm -hmm. And even though it's something that he created, he wanted his expression to be more personal. Right. So I think he decided to call himself by his his chosen attribute. I can dig it, definitely. Um, the next album, obviously, Prisoner of Conscious. When's it dropping? May 7th. May 7th. I think it's a perfect title for you, actually, because it basically, it recognizes you, you're basically your struggle that you were, weren't were flattered when you were named conscious by the media, obviously. Um, no, I am flattered by that. Being called a conscious MC, yeah. an underground MC, a positive thing, positive MC, these are beautiful things. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm completely f flattered by that description, but I can't define myself by that, even right. though I'm, even though I, I right. like what people call it. It's because I do so much more than that. And there's a lot of people who, for that, for them, that word is a stigma, mm -hmm. and they may not get to hear my music. Yeah, and I feel definitely. like my music, I wanted to reach everybody. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, you basically, you, it's, it is, but you do feel like a prisoner of it, though, right? I don't. Um, I feel like other people try to make me a prisoner of it. Okay. Yeah. And so when I call my album that, it's me speaking to the perception of me as an artist rather than how I see myself. I can dig it, definitely. Um, about the music itself, who's featured on it? Um, yeah, shout out to everybody on POC. Um, Currency, Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. uh, RZA, Busta Rhymes, mm -hmm. Melanie Fiona, Miguel, my man Seo George from Brazil, Rubik's. Um, Marsha Ambrosius. Mm -hmm. Who's the other producers? We got J. Cole on the mm -hmm. production. Um, oh No, mm -hmm. Oxnard, mm -hmm. um, my man E. Jones, uh, you know, RZA, of course, mm -hmm. uh, Terrence Martin. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, how about the artwork of it? I basically, it struck me. What language is that? Uh, it's Arabic. Did you see my hat? Yeah, actually, I saw the hat that you were In the POC? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna have these for sale in a little bit. It's Arabic. It says Talib Kweli in Arabic. Oh, okay. Um, there's an artist, a, a New York sort of fashion designer mm -hmm. artist, mm -hmm. a name Jeff Staple. Yeah. This company called Staple Design is, is one of the premier like, you know, New York City fashion houses. And um, he he compiled. He helped me design a cover, and he compiled a bunch of artists to give their interpretation of what prisoner of conscience meant to them. Yeah. And so that's where this, this some of this artwork comes from. That's right. dope right there. Well, um, what is going to be the next single to follow up Echelon? Um, I was actually going to put out the record Turned Up, which we just performed tonight, but me, uh, my man Big Vaughn on, on KME out in the Bay played uh, the Miguel record tonight. Okay. I gave it to him. I didn't think he was going to play it tonight, but he played it. And so now that's going to be my next single. Well, you have to understand when you give a hot record to a I, you DJ, know, and, you won't play it. You know what? I had I had a, I had a conversation because he DJs for Black Stars. Yeah, well. He did a yeah. show in Hawaii, and he was like, "Yo, give me that record." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm a, I'm gonna wait till I get the video done, and then I'm gonna put it out." Yeah. And I had the whole conversation with him, so I thought he remembered that. Right. But he didn't, or he didn't hear me, or there was a disconnect, so he played the record tonight. But whatever, I, I'm gonna put that out next. And shout out to my man Big Vaughn, who always tells me that. That's dope, right there. Something else we need to touch on is. Whatever happened to Blacksmith? I mean, basically, it was a great idea, a very social concept, some upcoming artists, but... Um, Blacksmith, you know, it was, um, it was really a lot of just me working hard. Mm -hmm. So I decided to, to put those efforts more on myself. Right. Um, so, you know, I love Strong Arms and I love Gene Gray and these people who I make music with to this day, and I will continue to. Yeah. Um, but now it's about Javoti Media, and I'm like, I'm just moving in that direction. All right, definitely, man. Thanks for coming through, Talib. Um, we're moving on with the latest from Chris Brown from upcoming album X called you, Fine you, China. You play all types of shit. Huh? Yes, like, definitely. There's urban music across the board. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I'm, I'm pop, R&B, local, national, international, right. all over the place. Yep. Yep. I'm a murder rap, I'm a murder rap, and learn it, confirm it, and burn it's audio. Use it for your convertible, use it for burning cardio. Don't use it for drowners, they'll find me in your stereo and blame me for the murders. Lock me up and get me carried off. I know what's that murder before. Murder, murder, fuck it, murder, make a foe, insert a learning curve. My